So, repairs to the water main that broke in Springfield continue today. The good news is that the boil water notice, which has been in effect since Tuesday, has finally ended. And 22 News reporter Alana Flood went to the site of the broke of the break rather today. And Alana, you have an update on the work being done. Yes, first the city has lifted the boil water ban, meaning the water is safe to drink now, but crews will be working to fix the damage done to that main and the area around the main for quite some time. Today, crews were hard at work in the wooded area off St. James Avenue, repairing a 36 inch water main that broke on Tuesday. Mayor Sarno said the cost estimates on the repair are in the millions. The area the pipe was located in was washed away, so there's going to have to be some engineering and creative design work to get that earth restored. The commission is going to work very closely with the DPW department as to determine what the best course of action is. The commission was able to maintain filtration and chlorine, chlorine disinfection throughout the duration of the incident, so we never lost treatment. Pressures in the system are now stable, and there should be no threat to firefighting operations within the city and the regional service area. The city will be flushing its pipes and hydrants for 24 to 48 hours to get all that standing water out of the system. That may result in a small dip in water pressure for households as well as some discoloration. The Water and Sewer Commission says if you are getting that discoloration, run your cold tap for about 10 or 15 minutes, wait another half an hour and then check again. Working for you, Alana Flood, 22 News.